Hi YouTube, it's Autumn Beckman here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back. Um, I am, I've been sick lately, so I actually filmed this video and a bunch of other videos about a week or two ago. I just did a big bulk filming day and I swear that I uploaded them, but they're not on my hard drive and my cards have been formatted since then. So I think I lost all that video. So I'm redoing some things today. Um, so the things that I'm showing you in this video, uh, I've actually been using for several weeks. Um, I'm also, my back went out last Wednesday and I have had chronic back problems for years and years and years, but I've learned how to prevent it pretty well with doing stretches before I get out of bed in the morning and being careful what I lift and how I lift and things like that. So, um, I... Actually, it hadn't gone out on me for about two years, which was pretty exciting because it used to go out at least a few times a year. Um, and there was one time five or six years ago where I missed two weeks of work because of it. So it went out on me last Wednesday and I had to call in for three days in a row and then I've had this weekend. I'm filming this on a Sunday morning. And um, so I'm pushing myself today because I'm definitely not back to normal, but yesterday I was finally able to start walking a little bit on my own. I actually have a walker. I'm, I'm 37 years old, almost 38, and I have a walker that I use. I've had that for a while. But I, I have to have that support when my back goes out. Um, <clears throat> and this last week was the third week of school, which means it's time for everybody to get sick. So while I'm battling with my back, I also got a head cold, so I have this mug out um, with some green tea with honey and lemon, so I'm going to be sipping on that. Um, this mug, by the way, I got last year from Pottery Barn on Black Friday, and if it'll focus, you can, there it goes, kind of, well, you saw it for a second anyway. Um, it has a wild boar on it, and then inside it has this little pig. and. I got this for my boyfriend for Christmas because when we went to Italy, we had wild boar there. The little town that we were staying in called Pelago um, <clears throat> had a wild boar festival, uh, Cingale, I think how you say it in Italian. But so that was fun. We went there uh, to the little festival a couple times. Oh, and that was really cool too because they had the menu, which of course is all in Italian because it's this tiny little... Um, it's this little town that we stayed in, it's a little festival, and there aren't tourists there, it's all locals. So we got to talk to local people and, and meet some Italians and, you know, talk about things. Um, talk about Italian stuff. And on the menu, they had wine, and it was three or four euro. Um, and so we each ordered what we thought was a glass of wine and they brought us two bottles. So it was three or four euro for an entire bottle of wine. And of course you're in Italy, so all the wine is incredible. Um, so that was fun. But anyway, let me get to the reveal of this item that I'm trying to film. I'm gonna have a little tea. So what I wanna do is this box here. <clears throat> I got this item off Tradesy and I made some notes for myself. So I got it from a seller called Soloage. Um, or Solage, I'm not sure how they pronounce it, but it's spelled S-O-L-O-A-G-E. It's all one word. And the reason I'm telling you that is because they're not an individual seller, they're a business. So if you wanted to order something from them, you could search for them on Tradesy and find something. So they have um, two shipping warehouses. One is in China. By the way, if you are not familiar with my channel, you hear some sound effects in the background. That's my parrot, Vincent. I had... I'm trying this new thing because there are a few people who complain about some of the noises that she makes. So I tried this new thing of filming her, or not filming, feeding her right before I started filming. And she's, for some reason, not over there eating her food um, and keeping her mouth busy. So she's talking. Um, so anyway, where was I? So this Solage, they have two shipping locations. One's in China. No, no, not China. Japan. One's in Japan, and then the other one is in, like, Atlanta or something. So, um, it's said in the description of this item that this came from Japan. So, I was expecting it to take about a month to get here, 
because anything I've ordered from China takes about a month, but it only took about a week, which was really impressive. And I do have the box. I always save my cardboard boxes because I have some things for sale on eBay and um, I save them so I can ship things out. So I still have the box, but I don't have the packaging for it. And I think it just came in a plastic bag. I don't think it had bubble wrap or anything. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up for you. And show you what I got. Um, I don't think it had a receipt either, but pretend this is wrapped in plastic. Oops. This is how it came. Um, this item, you, may, you might be able to tell what that is, just stuffed in a box. So it's really a little too small for it. So I'm gonna take it out. I wish they had sent it in a bigger box so it wasn't quite so squished. Here we go. Now you can tell, right? It's a Speedy. And <clears throat> it's a vintage, let me open it up and shape it for you. It's a vintage Speedy 35. And I got a 35 because a friend of mine who is um, somebody that I knew about in town, she's a jazz singer, a really popular jazz singer in town. Her name is Tiana Hall, and she's uh, in Houston here. She, I ran across her in the Louis Vuitton Addicted Facebook group. And then we went to see her sing one night and talk to her and she had a 35 and I have a 30 in Domnier Aben that I've had for about a year um, that I've always thought was a little bit too small so I looked at the 35 which I had always thought was gonna be too big and it's really not that much bigger than the 30 um, but it it's definitely more spacious so you can hold more in it so I it wasn't as huge as I thought it would be when I saw hers so I wanted to get one but I didn't want to get a brand new one because there's so many speedies on the pre-loved market. Um, and I was also thinking that I wanted to not spend much. Um, so I'd, I only spent a couple hundred on this. And I wanted to get something that was vintage and not in perfect condition because I wanted to try out some cleaning methods, which I've already done actually. Um, I've cleaned it once <clears throat> and I'll do another I'm, I'm thinking I'll do another video about that. I've started filming it, but I think I want to give it a second clean before I um, post that and see how it comes out. Um, but I was also thinking maybe, maybe I would get a bag and paint it, maybe put my dogs on it or something, because um, I'm an artist too. I'm a photographer and I'm also a painter and I draw. So that's why I wanted to get a vintage bag that wasn't in perfect condition. This one is in great condition. It does have a few flaws and it was dirtier when I got it. Like I said, I've cleaned it. Um, the handles, I wish it would focus. There we go. The handles are cleaner than they were. They were more black. Um, there you go. And let me show you some of the things with it. So under this tab here, you can see there's something written in Sharpie. I was told that that's the initials of the previous owner from Japan and it's written in the Japanese characters and I thought that was really cool because I thought it gave the bag character um, and it gives it a little story and history which is cool. I polished up the brass a little bit. I need to do that again. I used Brasso to polish the brass and I'm about to order Blue Magic because Tiana cleans bags and dyes bags and stuff and she recommended Blue Magic so I'm going to try that one and see how much shinier I can get these because it's it's really, the brass is, is definitely not as shiny as it could be. Um, I don't know how well that's coming out, but I can get it cleaner than that. Um, <clears throat> another kind of weird thing about this bag that I noticed after I got it is this is the bag closed, right? And the zipper pull is on upside down. Look at that. So it should hang like this and it doesn't. It's got the kind of suede part outside, which is weird. Um, but it doesn't bother me that much. And also it's kind of um, starting to rip, I guess. It's starting to wear and get pulled and stretched out. So at some point I may have to replace that. And I took it into Louis Vuitton the other day and they said that it's just $30 to replace the little tab. The only hesitation I have is that then the tab will be uh, a different color and the uh, lady who was in repairs there she said that you could just wipe it with a wet rag to make it a darker color 
but I think I'd also have to leave it out in the sun and stuff. Um, I want to show you the inside. This is one of the reasons I went for this bag in particular, because <clears throat> the, the leather is in good shape. There's no cracking or anything on it. Oh, there is, if that'll focus, see how that's a little dark in the middle, just from where you would put your thumb to hold it and close the bag. But so this is one of the reasons I got it. The inside is spotless, and I don't know how well that'll come across. Looks like you can kind of see. There are no marks at all inside. It's perfect. So I love that. And it has this pocket inside, like Speedy's do. And the inside of the pocket has that shiny lining, and that's not peeling at all. Um, <clears throat> on this side, you have the two tabs, which I think I need to condition. Focus. There you go. I think I need to condition those, and I have not cleaned the brass on those yet. Here's a question for you. If you are somebody who cleans the brass on these little tabs, this is what I always have trouble with, is the Brasso um, will spill out onto the Vachetta, and then that turns the Vachetta a different color. So how do I prevent that from happening? And I use a Q-tip, and I'm careful, but it still happens. Um, and then under the pocket, <clears throat> you see there are two more tabs, and this one here has the date code, and I'm going to tell you what the date code is. Um, it is MB0940, and that means it was made in France the fourth week of 1990. So this bag is 27 years old, and I think for that age it looks fantastic. There's no cracking or ripping or anything with the leather, uh, or on the canvas or the leather. Um, except for that little pull tab, which is not a big deal because it's so cheap to replace. Um, so this is what it looks like. It's just a continuous piece of canvas around the whole thing. And then it has the two pieces on either side there. And the piping. The piping looks good. It's not rubbed or anything. One thing I've noticed about this bag, you see how it kind of goes in on the corners here. And it does that on all four corners. I think that's just normal for these bags because I've looked at some other ones online that are, um, well, different ages and they all seem to do that. So I think that's just something with how the piping curves right there and it just kind of pulls in. Um, that's about it on that. Oh, I was going to measure it for you in case you are interested in the size on the on this bag. So, you know, 35 is 35 centimeters across. That comes out to, I'm going to hold this upside down. Well, no, I won't. I'll change it around so it's not upside down for you. So <clears throat> that comes out to about 14 inches, 13 or 14 inches on the bottom. Um, the width would be about 7 inches down there. And then the height in the middle would be nine inches approximately. Okay. And then something I like to measure too is the height. Let me get this fixed a little bit. The height from the bottom to the edges where it starts to curve a little. And the reason I want to get that measurement is because if I want to put an organizer in it, I need to know how high the organizer can be. So that would be about five inches okay so um yeah i didn't get my other my speedy 30 out to show you because i'll do a different video with the comparison between the 30 and the 35 but i just wanted to show that to you and um i've been carrying it for a few weeks and i really love it i've also had um, this strap on it. This is the strap from my Noe GM, and I put these little uh, clips on it. Now I have another video. Uh, it'd be so nice if it focused when I wanted it to, you know. Um, I have another video with some different clips that I got at a hardware store. These look more like Louis Vuitton clips, um, although the other clips look like the clips that are on my Trebi strap. So I don't know. Anyway, I like these because they're smaller and I like the U-shaped click clip better than the big bolt snap, which is the other ones. That's what those are called. But I've been using this on 
the speedy and I just snap one to one handle and one to the other. And I know it is not meant to be carried like this, but I love a shoulder bag. And every time I use it, um, when I'm done using it, I keep an eye on the vachetta to see if it's being dented or ripped. I keep an eye on the stitching here to make sure that that's not being pulled out. And so far it hasn't. Um, so I do this with my Trevi strap on my Damier Ben Speedy 32 and I haven't had any problems yet. So, and these little clips I got on Etsy and I can put the link below for that. The only bad thing about these clips is that they only open so far. And so if you have a larger ring, like for example, on my, uh, no EGM and on my Trevi, the rings where you attach the strap are about this thick and this will not fit around that. You just, it won't go. It, it doesn't open wide enough to get that larger loop in. So I have to switch out to the bolt snaps if I'm using um, <clears throat> the, the other bag, the Noe on that. All right, that is it. If you have any questions about this bag, let me know. And thank you for watching. Have a great day. Remember to subscribe, like, click the little bell notification icon if you want to see more. Bye, guys.